everyone. So here is the set I did the other day. I realised I hadn't used my snicker skin for a while. So I did. Um, this is a set I did on regular client. Done all my usual natural nail work prep. Debulked, debulked and removed the design from the last set. And I now I'm just applying a thin clear base. This is where I put the disclaimer. Um, that mark is also from... Uh, she had a lot of lifting. It had been a while. So she did have a slight greeny. But we've buffed it. It's all dead and sorted. So we can work on it um, again. So if anyone... If anyone was looking at that and telling me off, then go back to your basic training and understand what a greenie is. It's fine. Um, and also the snake skin. Right, people always come in whenever I use like snake skin. It they've naturally shed it. The snake is still hanging out doing snaky things. It's fine. All of that jazz. So yeah, people get really upset by that, um, which is quite interesting because if you do acrylic, then 99.9% .9 of all the brushes are Kalinsky sable hair. And that's a byproduct of the fur trade. So, you know, at least my snake is still alive, unlike what made my brush. So just throwing it out there. Um, but yes, so I've got my snake skin and I'm just kind of pulling it apart so that I've got little pieces that I can use in this design. Um, so I wanted to add a bit of colour. So I've got a bit of pink, um, like a nice bright pink in there too. Um, and yeah, so we're going to get on with the design now. So I'm starting first of all with um, Cranberry Crush. Oh, how beautiful is this? This is from the Sunday Delights collection from HD Pro. Placing it at the tip and then blending it up. Then using Peach Parfait, getting a nice line by the cuticle and then blending down. And then just pressing in the snake skin onto that wet acrylic. Pressing it nice and flat. It's quite easy to work with, it's nice and pliable. And just placing it across in the design I want. And then I'm going to add a few of the 3D diamonds in Fuchsia to kind of pull the design across the nails, so adding a bit of those 3D which I found so difficult because I was really struggling to pick them up today. I was having one of those days. So I'm just going to place them in there, just adding a little bit to the design. And then I'm using a little bit of this um, chunky cut glitter. This is new in the caramel collection. Oh, toffee penny, maybe? <laughs> I'm so bad. As always, check the description below because I will have written what I used. I'm pretty sure it's toffee penny, but I'm not 100% sure. So when well, I'm happy with that design, I'm going to cap the nail in clear. Thank you. 
and then coming in on the ring finger and doing a full colour now with that cranberry crush. The thing I love about these HD colours is they are so highly pigmented, but like with all of our acrylics, they don't run or anything, so you can use them here, as you can see it's quite wet, I'm pretty much just painting it on, but it's not running all over the place, it's staying put. And then on the ring finger, I'm coming in with that little bit of clear acrylic, placing this some snake skin on, and I'm going to do mainly snake skin and glitter on this now. So I'm going to add a few bits of the snake skin where I want them, and then add glitter round it. So I'm just filling in the gaps. I don't want to have a full, but now I'm I'm happy with like little bits of gap and clear and natural nail poking through, but I'm just filling in a fair bit with that chunky cut glitter. And then going back to that pink now, and I'm using my silicone waxy picker upper tool. Placed a little bit of glue on there, and now I'm just going to add some of these 3D diamonds in a design on that nail. The glue was setting really fast because I had my heating up really high, so it's really warm in the room. So I have to keep adding glue, but yes, just adding um, a little design in those diamonds um, across that nail.
And I'm then coming in with a few of the snakeskin colour scales, adding them in, just so that the design flows across all the nails, so they've all got a little bit of the same kind of elements in them. And now capping that ring finger, ring finger, that middle finger even. Um, I do work ever so slightly, just a tiny bit wetter when I'm using things like snakeskin stuff because I want to make sure there's no air bubbles and it's nicely capped and it's kind of nice and solid together. And then going back and capping that ring finger. And then on the pointer finger, I just did the same that I'd done on the little finger. And as always, if you read in the description below, there is a link to my filing technique. There is a video there. And then I'm coming in with my CJP LED top gloss. And I'm going to apply this and then cure for 60 seconds in my LED light. I've allowed that to cool down for a minute or two 
and I'm coming in with my cuticle oil. And there you go guys, my pinky, snaky skinny 3D diamondy design. So I hope you've enjoyed that guys, and until next time, I'll see you again soon. Bye!